Got to get some straw in the dog kennels here for the puppies. I usually come in here and just sprinkle some straw around for them. Give them a little softer place to lay down. I do have a plywood floor in here so they don't walk around in the mud all the time. But the plywood obviously is hard and I like to spoil my dogs. So, <laughs> so I got some nice soft straw in here for you guys. Got to do Toby's next. Hopefully the old girl will start. I made a boneheaded move and if you remember from that video that I posted a week or two ago where I was looking at the tractor here and I turned the ignition on, well, after I shot that video, I forgot to turn the ignition back off again. And then a couple of days later, I came out here and it was completely dead. I mean, so dead, I couldn't even jump start it. So <laughs> let's see if it's any better today. Oh yeah, I think we're gonna be in, in luck. So you notice that that sound that it was making, remember how I was complaining about that noise and I even showed you some clips of it every time I start the tractor? You notice it doesn't do that anymore. Somehow it just quit doing that on its own not very long ago. So maybe it did just have some air in the line somewhere. I don't know. Yeah, I've had these Pat's quick hitch attachments on here for several months now. I've been running them all year. You can see they've had plenty of use. And I just wanted to kind of update you on my thoughts here about these. And uh, basically, I still love them. They have been working out exactly the way that I expected. Um, and I just really love them. We've got multiple attachments that are all different brands. And that's where this setup right here excels because it doesn't matter what brand it is or how the pins are set up. This will work with any of your attachments because you can adjust them, you know, in and out with this bar here and that knob. So if you've got an attachment that's just a little bit narrower or a little bit wider, you can make some minor adjustments here and it works. You don't have to go with fooling with the pins on your attachments to put larger pins on them or whatever. This is made for Cat 1C and it, it does fit all the Cat 1 stuff perfectly. Um, it's just worked out great for me. You're not really supposed to use these with a mower, but I even use them with the mower. This is over there in the junk pile behind the tires. I've even done some mowing with these. The uh, PTO shafts seem to be long enough to work out okay. So mower, box blade, land plane, aerator, whatever. Uh, this system right here will work just fine. And that's the thing that caused me to buy this instead of a traditional quick hitch. Because the traditional quick hitches are obviously built to where they're fixed in size. And all of your implements have to be compatible with it. Otherwise, it won't work, and uh, I didn't want to deal with that. So with this, I don't have that problem. Um, obviously, you still have to do the top link manually, but that's not a problem because the top link is easy. I mean, it's obviously adjustable, so it takes a matter of seconds to hook it up anyway. Um, you know, I'm not so lazy that I won't get off the tractor. You know, I just... I basically was sick and tired of having to fool with the bottom pins because they never did want to line up right and it took some trial and error and it was kind of annoying. So anyway, the PAT system eliminates the big problem, which is the two bottom pins, makes that a piece of cake and then I can just jump off the tractor real fast and do the upper one and it's no problem. Uh, working out really good. So I highly recommend these. I noticed that there is an off brand of these that you can buy. I think I've seen them at Rural King. Um, I would recommend going ahead and getting the Pat's brand. This is one of those things where you're not going to save a whole lot of money by getting the off brand. Might as well get the name brand so that you know it's going to work out fine, you know? Um, now, of course, like you, you know, can see here, I've knocked some of the paint off of it. That's going to happen when you're hooking up stuff all the time. I don't think that's going to be a big issue. This little bar here, um, the knob seems to be holding up okay. 
I've always been kind of worried that I would tear this up somehow, but I mean, it seems to be okay and it doesn't really cause any problems. When I do use the mower with it, I take this off though, because obviously, you know, the clearance with the PTO shaft can be a little sketchy. So I do run without that bar after I get it hooked up on the mower. But yeah, I mean, everything else is working out pretty good. Um, super happy with those. So if you're looking for some kind of a quick hitch setup for your compact tractor and you have a lot of different attachments, you might really want to give this a look because I do think that it works out better in the long run, you know? I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but another thing I'm going to attempt, I mean, this is a snow plow, obviously, for the ATV, but I'm going to try and use this on the driveway. Um, and I'm going to see if it works. Not so much an issue right here, but if you get on farther down the driveway where it gets more traffic, what happens is the 57s, which is the, the larger pieces of rock, crushed stone, as you drive over them all the time, it tends to roll those off on the edge. And so on the edge of the driveway, uh, I'll get a big accumulation of, of gravel right up the edge, and then it'll be like worn bare in the middle. And so what I've been doing is going along and either taking a garden rake and like manually pulling the gravel back over into the lane of traffic, or sometimes I'll use the bucket on the tractor, but that's kind of cumbersome because you got to take a swipe and then you reposition and take another swipe, you know, and it just ends up taking a while. So um, I thought about buying a straight blade to put on the back of the tractor here that I could angle and then I could just get over here and kind of go along the edge and pull the gravel back over. But since I bought this snow plow anyway, I thought, hey, I might as well try it, you know. So I'm going to put this on the ATV one day in the near future and angle that blade as far as it'll go. And then I'm going to drive the ATV along the edge of the driveway and see if maybe this won't push that gravel back up where I need it. Um, that would be a really quick way to do it. Might even be quicker than using the tractor. So I may experiment with that here in a couple of days. Anything that I can use this ATV for, I'm going to, because I think it will be a little quicker than the tractor uh, and basically just more convenient too. So I'm gonna give that a whirl one day. It's really windy out there again. Man, it's always windy here. But uh, I'll show you the results when I try that. I'm just curious to see if it'll work or not. But for now, I'm going to get on the tractor here and go do something else. So I just wanted to give you an update there on the on the Pat's quick hitch system. I do love it. I'm so glad that I bought that instead of spending the money on a traditional quick hitch. It's worked out perfect for me. So if you've got any questions, leave them below. Thanks, guys, and we'll talk to you later.